Number 39. What fluoride ion concentrations, F minus, is required to reduce the calcium ion concentration, Ca2 plus, to 1.0 times 10 to the negative fourth molarity by precipitation of calcium fluoride, CaF2? Okay, so we're talking about precipitation. Remember, precipitation is just basically talking about solids, right? Making solids. And we have a solid of the compound CaF2. Now, when we're talking about solids, precipitation, right? We're dealing with solubility product, right? So I had to go into the back of the textbook to find out what the solubility product is for the calcium fluoride, which is 4.0 times 10 to the negative 11th. Now, if we're using a KSP value, that means that this solution's at equilibrium and we're dealing with a saturated solution. Saturated solutions is basically the start, the very, very, very beginning of if you're making a precipitate in a solution. Now, that's one thing that we have to assume here is that we can use the KSP value because we are at a saturated solution. We're beginning the precipitation. So now, just like all KSP equations, we need a balanced equation. So let's go for it. CAF2, whoop, we'll start over here. CAF2, that's the solid, right? Double arrow, Dissolution, if we're going this way, precipitation, if we're going backwards, into the two ions. They told me that it was Ca2+, plus, and since I have an ion that's aqueous, and then the F- minus is the other ion, minus, that's also aqueous. Let's balance the equation here. I know that I have two fluorines, so I have to put a 2 in front of here. And now we are balanced. So now let's just, uh, you know put down what they gave us. They told us that the calcium ion concentration is going to be 1.0 times 10 to the negative fourth molarity. So the Ca2 plus is 1.0 times 10 to the negative fourth molarity. They, we want to find out what the F minus concentration is. So I come over to the F minus and I say, okay, that's what I want to find out. I'm going to label it as X. Now there's two ways of doing the problem. The first way I'm just going to talk you through it. And then the next way I will perform that way. And just know that both ways, whichever your preference, you'll get the same answer. The first way is if we take the coefficient into consideration and we say that this is 2x. Now, when we do the math, we're still going to come out with x equals a value because that's just what algebra is. You always want to find out what x equals, not 2x or 3x. So, to answer the question, you would have to go back to your answer and times the number by two, because we did label the fluoride ion concentration as a 2x. Now, if you're pressed for time on an exam or quiz, and this was the question, maybe you didn't have enough time to times it by two. You would get a couple of points off. Or maybe, you know, you, you accidentally, you know, forgot to do it. So we want to avoid that. And what we're going to do instead is just say, you know, screw the coefficient. Let's just call this as x, and then when I do the math, we'll get x equals, and they will match. So for these specific questions, you can skip the ratio part and just classify all the f minus as just x. Okay, so now let's write in the KSB. The general KSB formula is this, right? Just equal to the products raised to the coefficients. So let's do it for ours, KSB equals the concentration of calcium, Ca2 plus, times the F minus. We just have to take into consideration those coefficients. Now there's a two in front of the F minus. So I have to square that F minus concentration. We could put a one here for the calcium, but you don't have to do that. The F minus we said was X. Calcium was 1.0 times 10 to the negative fourth. And the KSP was what we looked in the back of the textbook, 4.0 times 10 to the negative 11th. Let's plug in. So 4.0 times 10 to the negative 11th equals 1.0 times 10 to the negative 4th times x squared. We first have to divide by 1.0 times 10 to the negative 4th. 1.0 times 10 to the negative fourth. Get rid of that. 
So four times 10 to the negative 11th divided by one times 10 to the negative fourth. And I get four times 10 to the negative seventh equals x squared. Take the square root. Got to do it on both sides. To be fair, this cancels out. So now we're just left with x equals. And we get 6.3. 6.3. Times 10 to the negative fourth. And that's molarity. And then they match x and x. So what was the fluoride ion concentration? The F minus, since it was just x, it is 6.3 times 10 to the negative fourth. And that is the answer. Okay. There we go. So hopefully this makes sense. Let me know in the comments. Uh, thank you so much for viewing the video. Let's keep working hard. Let's keep studying hard. You guys got this. Good luck on your future tests and quizzes. And I will talk to you soon. Okay, bye-bye.